against trafficking in women, and I'm an editor of the journal on sexual exploitation and violence. And one re Okay. One big problem with using studies is that the politically correct uh, requirement of most studies that get published is that you don't talk about deviance. And I found very illogical in the talk by Ms. Rubio, sometimes you seem to be saying that it's normal, it can be anybody, and other times you sort of went, I mean, you wanted to say it wasn't monsters. Well, the fact is, it's deviance, and I feel like the church is beyond the kind of cliches, academic cliches that are approved cliches about gendered scripts. There are deviants, and they have deviant behavior, and we need to focus on that. I mean, one of the biggest problems of the cover-up was that psychologists told priests and bishops that people were cured. I haven't heard anybody talk about that, but that, is a tr that, that had a tremendous contribution to the evil that was allowed to occur when bishops took the advice of psychologists, moved priests that they were told were cured, and obviously there was no cure. Thanks for that question. I, I am, and, and I'm sorry if, if I um, misspoke. Um, I, I don't mean to say that, that these weren't monstrous things and, devi and if deviance, I'll, I'll take that word as well. Um, I, I do want to say that, that sometimes when we focus on um, how, ver how very monstrous people are, we fail to, to see the broader cultural roots of the problem. And when what I think we're seeing with sexual violence is, this, is that, we, that it's not the guy hiding in the bushes um, that we need to be afraid of, but it's people in our families and on college campuses where I've taught until recently, right? It's the ordinary guy in the dorm room next door. Um, and so, the, so the, the worry is what's going on in the broader culture that is leading to such problematic scripts that are, that are infecting broad segments of the culture. And I think we actually might, yeah. might agree on, on, on some of that. Yeah. 